Okay, let's check it now. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, burned. Hey guys, last video I did the unboxing of my solar oven. And I have found something really cool to cook in it. It's so exciting. We're gonna make apple pie. Apple pie camping? What? In the sun? So cut up your apple. Okay, so cut up your apple. The smaller the chunks, the better. Okay, now let's put this into a bowl. So I have some plant-based butter. Kind of spread this around. along with some pumpkin pie spice. And, oh my gosh, I hardly have any cinnamon. You can tell I like cinnamon. <laughs> okay, let's mix this all up. Okay, now for the pie crust. Check this out, a rollable pie crust. I haven't unlocked the level of making pie crust in the van yet. <laughs> so, okay, here's the cooking tray of the solar oven. And it also has these little trays, silicone trays that you can use. So we're gonna use one of them to fill with apple. I'll do that. Let me do the pie crust first. Okay, this side of the tray cooks better than this side, so I'm going to put the pie crust in first. Squeeze it down to the bottom. And the apples are going to go on this side. I haven't tried it together yet. I think maybe there might be too much juice from the apples. But I don't know, maybe I'll try that next. Okay, then it slides into the oven. And now we put it in the sun to cook. And that's it. All we do is wait now and wait for sweet apple pie. 20 minutes later. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's see how it's looking. Oh, well, pretty good. Just a little bit. Not quite done. Getting there. 10 minutes later. Okay. Let's check it now. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh man, this smells so good.
Oh, nice little pie crust. Perfect. Okay, so I forgot one thing. I forgot to put sugar in the apples to cook. So I'm going to make, I usually use this, um, it's called Swerve. It's like a sugar replacement and it really tastes just like sugar. So this is a powdered sugar replacement. So you could make a frosting. I think I'm just going to dust it with powdered sugar. Okay, dust is maybe a little liberal here. <laughs> dust, sure. <laughs> okay. How cool is this? Apple pie out of the sun. Mmm. Oh, fantastic. Uh, how cool is this? An apple pastry while you're camping. It doesn't get much better than that. The crust is awesome. Yeah, it cooked great. Okay. Experiment number two. Let's see what happens when I have the dough in and put the filling in with it. Is it going to be, there's quite a bit of liquid in the tray here. Whoops. On my floor now. <laughs> oh, good thing I have a waterproof floor. Oh, geez. Okay, got it. <laughs> but obviously there's quite a bit of liquid. So is it just going to make this too gooey? I wonder if I should cook the, maybe I'll cook the crusts a little bit first and then put the apple in. And then I can have two pies. Okay, if you have some friends and you want to make a pie for your friend. Okay, coming up next. But first, have to finish this. So I don't know how this is going to work because um, the tube doesn't have this coating here at the end of the tube. So anything on this side of the tube doesn't cook at, at all, really. Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to move these, swap these around as they go. Uh, but we'll try it and see. The other thing, the, the solar cooker is super cool. Don't get me wrong. But obviously, you have to pay attention to where the sun is. And I'm running out of daylight a little bit. But we'll see if we can get it all done. And things definitely cook slower the later in the day. So if you're cooking at noon, it cooks really fast and hot. But 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, mm, takes a lot longer. So. Okay. Back in the sun she goes. So now that the sun's getting a little bit lower, I've got to prop it up a little bit more. Okay. 30 minutes later. Okay, let's check it now. Uh-oh. <laughs> a little burned. So I let it go a little too long. Oh, 
That smells so good though. Okay, so um, I've got a burned edge and an edge that's not done. I've got to add the apple still. I'm going to add my green apple into some red apples that I cut up a little bit earlier today. And I'm going to add some sugar. Ooh, that's hot. Sort of sugar. These red apples are just a little bit sweeter than just the green, and the sugar will help it too. Because the last one was could have been a little sweeter. It was a little tart. Okay, time to add the apple. Can I make two pies at the same time? The crust really shrinks. It's tough though because you can't uh, get more in. It's not like you could really have a lot of crust and it would shrink just right because you've got to get it in the cylinder. Okay, in she goes. Let's try cooking for maybe another half hour and see what happens. 20 minutes later. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes for the apples here. Mm. Sizzling. Is the crust on? Uh, I don't know. I think I better take it out though. Okay. The last experiment here. Ooh, smells awesome. How mushy is it? That's the question. Did the apples drain into the thing to give us a soggy bottom? A little bit. It's not really done on the end there. But that's our end that was, uh, I didn't flip it soon enough. If I would have flipped this uh, sooner, then that would have cooked better. Let's look at our other one here. So hot. Oh, this one's like perfectly done. Let me show you. Look at that. Perfection. And I made some uh, frosting with my powdered sugar, just some powdered sugar and water. Let's see, I'll try this one. Okay, let's see. Cooked in apple pie. Oh, it's drippy. Oh, that answers our question. How much liquid is in there? Hmm. The apples taste great. The crust is a little chewy. I think it's better when it gets cooked by itself. But you can only have one when you do that. I mean, it's still pretty great, don't get me wrong. But yeah, the crust is a little... I mean, it feels done, but 
I think it's just too wet inside. Maybe. I need another stove. <laughs> That'd solve my problem. Then I could make two pies, have two apples going, and two crusts going. This thing is super cool. Cooks, bakes, with no fuel. But it's a little small. Oh, but I should mention that they have bigger ones. They have all sorts of different stoves. They even have one that um, will plug in at night. So you can do both, either cook in the sun or plug it in. So this is the smallest for sure, but they have others. So it's a little small, even just for one person, and it takes a good amount of time. The crust on this probably took um, maybe a half hour, well, 40 minutes maybe, but I left it in too long. I should have taken it out earlier. And the apples took maybe uh, another, well, 20 minutes, half hour. I guess that's not too bad if you're hanging out and, you know, it's not like you have to do anything. You just put it in the sun. So, but I totally call this a success. Get some pie crust from the store, pre-made, apple, seasoning, a little sugar, and voila, apple pie in the mountains, in the desert, wherever you are, on the beach, on a boat, <laughs> in a van, wherever you are. Ooh, I wonder if it would cook in the windshield. That'd be interesting. I don't know, but maybe you're still something. Yeah, probably doesn't have enough. I don't think it's actually big. I don't think it's on the edge. And some moves so much, you probably get the money. Many and bearable hours later. I don't know. But wherever you are, cooking in the sun, no fuel, is totally awesome. And I can't wait to try more things. Apple pie!